What a surprise. The agency sent my old partner to deal with me. How cute. Did they seriously think you can just convince me to come back? That I'd throw all my motivations out the window once I see a familiar face? Did they tell you to remind me of the good old days? Or how great the agency is? How the citizens need me? <laughs> of course. How original. Surely they must have told you I was confused, too. Or that I'd gotten brainwashed. How pretentious. To talk of brainwashing, as if every single word uttered from their mouths wasn't propaganda. But of course you wouldn't realize that yet. Oh, my dear, you don't know, do you? I suppose I do kind of owe you an explanation after disappearing for months without a word. I hoped you wouldn't worry too much... I really didn't want you to get pulled into this. You see, when I left the agency, I did so with no intention of ever returning. I didn't know what I was going to do with myself, but eventually, I ended up in the underground network. An association of gifted, fed up with the way things are being handled around here. Do you remember that villain we fought last summer? When you got knocked out and I decided to drag you out of there, rather than take care of him? I met him again. We talked for a while. And eventually, he made me a deal. One that even the agency wouldn't be able to beat. He saw how much I actually cared about my people. About you. You don't know what happened at the agency, do you? Oh, you poor little thing. You must be so confused. <sighs> you see, I'd have fallen out with one of the higher-ups for a multitude of reasons that don't matter right now. Well, no, it actually does matter. It was about you. I was worried about them sending you on missions alone. Since you're still new to the whole hero business. Of course, I know you'd be able to defend yourself, but I was still worried. I asked them to send more experienced heroes, to assist the newbies and take care of them. But my pleas were refused. They said, once the training was over, you'd have to deal with it yourself. And if you're not strong enough to get by on your own... Well, let's just say they weren't too nice about it. They didn't care about what happens to the younger heroes. Survival of the fittest to strengthen hero society. Absolute bullshit. That was last year. You must have been wondering why I still kept showing up on your missions, even though you were sent out alone. That's why. I was worried about you. I want to make sure you stay alive. And that's when they started pestering me about it. Telling me I should just let it go. That we'd still be a team, but I was too valuable to be sent on missions with you. Then I snapped. I don't care about protecting politicians. I care about protecting you. Protecting the city. They were using you. These villains are so much more dangerous than they led you to believe. And I wish I didn't know the rate of newbie deaths in the agency. But I do. I was terrified of you becoming one of those numbers. I didn't want you to just be swept under the rug. Another hero's death covered up, because otherwise no one would want to join the agency anymore. Eventually... I threatened to release those statistics, to warn new heroes of the dangers this job, and especially the agency comes with. I wanted to force them to protect you better. Instead, they hired one of the other heroes to get rid of me. Isn't that just ironic? 
The Hero Agency, killing another hero for wanting to protect people. I was lucky to survive that. And I had to disappear. Quickly. Otherwise, I would have contacted you. I would have warned you. At the very least, told you where I was going, and not to worry about me. But I couldn't. I knew they were watching you. They expected me to come to you. And surely, they wanted to know whether you were aware of the situation. That's why I stayed away all this time. And now you've heard everything. They probably won't just let you go back to living your life as before. You weren't sent to make me join the heroes again. They want both of us, delivering our heads to them on a silver platter. They were counting on me being emotional enough to follow you blindly. Counting on me wanting to be with you so desperately I'd forget about the dangers. But if this entire thing hadn't been about you and your safety to begin with, I would have fallen for it in a heartbeat. When I was a kid, I used to love the idea of being a great hero, admired by others, and always there to help the public, to protect the city. I never even considered how much politics play into this. I just wanted to help. I wanted to be seen, to inspire. I wanted to be on that post to the little kids look up to and smile brightly. The one who motivates them to be kind to others. I wanted to make a change in the world. Instead, I was turned into a marketable, profitable bodyguard in a costume. I was forced to babysit old, useless politicians who use their money to destroy every good thing I've ever worked for in my life. Everything I know you believe in as well. I couldn't keep living like that. Not with my conscience still intact. My choice was to either let it go and live the rest of my life as a corrupt killer and protector of dirty kleptocrats or to turn my back on living as a hero forever. Ironic, isn't it? Me, a former hero. No, a villain by definition of the agency, fighting for a better world. I still want to protect my people. But now, i found a way to actually do that. Still, I wouldn't feel right without you by my side as my partner. I don't think I could fight for anything whilst having to worry about you being slaughtered off by that fucking agency. What do you say? You and me once again. For justice. Hand in hand, side by side. We can make this forsaken world a better place and nobody would be able to stop us. They teamed us up for a reason after all. We're complementary, cancelling out each other's weakness and blind spots. Standing against us wasn't their first mistake, but it was definitely their biggest. And if we do it right, we can make sure it's their last. So, are you up for another round, partner? <laughs>